2022, 2023. So any motion for approval and acceptance of these 4,716 students candidate for graduation. Uh, Mr. Chair, when the Kuba account sa mga registrars, wala pa rin tali. 476 sa Shokon, 611 sa Tampilisan, Katipunan 788, Dipolo 2,766, Main Campus 1,900, ano? Chapter ato? 891, sorry. Di total naman. 891, then sa main campus, 1,915 na din. For second semester, 2022-2023. At first sem, 16 sa main campus, 16 sa tampilisan, 34 ang short call. Reconcile. Then, ang council resolution niya na ito. Then, ang for recognition, meaning the junior high school computers, 50 sa pay, 42 sa katipunan, 13 sa tampilisan. Tali. Uh, registers, please. Tali na ta. Because um, as we consolidated the list, the final list at uh, 12 midnight, um, karong pa magpunta na nila na update. So we will just have to apply the no changes no plus additional to attend. As suggested by the uh, board secretary, we have to secure a document for the additional number of students from the college to support. Again. We have to approve this with equal Latina again. Uh, upon the suggestion of the registrars, the university registrars, that those that will be paapas karol, most at me, we will include that already in the total number of candidates. But for those who will be paapas karol, we submit na ang mga requirements para but we have to approve the total number of candidates. Okay? So it is, there are 4,718 candidates for graduation for the year 2022-2023. So any motion for uh, approval? Dr. Bang. I move for the approval of uh, the candidates for graduation to be submitted to the Board of Regents for confirmation. Thank you. Second motion. Second motion. Okay, let's move and second then that the uh, candidates for graduation, the total of 780 is now approved. Okay, we will proceed. Seven, seven, approval of the graduation of the second service. 718? 4,000. 718. Wala mo ko ditingin yung mic. Ah, wala ditingin yung mic. 4,718. Okay.